Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Taurus in August 2021. What's going on, Taurus? How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well. Wherever you are, guys, in the world, I hope you're safe, happy, healthy, and secure. Take good care of yourselves and those that you know and love. Taurus, anything you want from me, it's in the description box already. Let's get into your reading, okay? All right, guys, so to start off, you have the Two of Cups, Strength Energy, uh, Strength Card, excuse me, Leo Energy, and then you have the page of swords, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Uh, so significant connection with a person, you know, any sign I mentioned that isn't yours, take it with a grain of salt. You could be dealing, you don't have to be. But there is some significant connection, but it's troublesome. Uh, I feel mischief mischievous thank you mischievous energy coming from this page of swords could be you could be other person could be both of you mutually together Let's see if we can get this to focus a little bit better for you because you know if i'm gonna hold it up to the camera you should be able to see it there you go um so i do get the sense that for some of you this person or you is a little naughty that could be good that could be bad i gotta be honest it doesn't feel great <laughs> Um, because I'm not, I'm not into casting spells or anything like that, uh, for all intents and purposes, like black magic or something, but that could be at play here. I, I'm, I'm sensing like herbs for some, you know, I, I, I don't know much about it, but some could be using herbs or more natural ingredients in their, in their spell work. Um, and spells or, or even, you know bad juju can exist just through thought patterns and conversations so even without intending it you or someone else taurus could be influencing the situation influencing the connection influencing what happens on either side of the connection you understand two of cups is significant i'm not gonna say it's you know i'm not gonna you know i don't i no longer talk about or use this and i've always had the caveat about soul soulmates and you know i don't talk about twin flames too much but if you use any of those labels you must understand that at this time in human existence this precipice that we're at this this leaving of one era this leaving of one age and stepping into a new era stepping into a new new age it's not going to be the romanticized version of soulmate that that ideal is is going the way of the dodo all right so I don't want to deny that you have a connection with a person, but I do want to give the give you the insight that this connection is not on easy street. This connection is going to put you and the other person through the ringer. And that could be the purpose. You know, I've I've started to consider this in in some soulmate connections that I have or have had um and just the concept of it. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it because we all don't believe the same things. But Taurus, what this feels like for me... Why did I pick this up? We're not done. <laughs> Although I, I think it's kind of like... Oh, ooh. is that like an indication of you or someone else like kind of wanting to get over with, get through this, this connection, no longer hold on to or, or, or kind of summarize it and then move on to the next thing, move on to the next, you know, situation. So there we go. Some of you might have a connection with a person who's very fly by night, who's very non-committal, or you are, you know, can go vice versa. You know what side of this you're on. And that's kind of an oxy oxymoron, isn't it? How can I be a soulmate with a person? How can I be connected to a person? How can he or she and I or whomever have some link, but then they or me or whoever is always constantly pushing it away, running away from it, denying it? coming in with great fervor and passion but then leaving the next day like in the dead of night very disconnected it's very ugh, right it's kind of one of those things that even though it sucks even though there's a lot that we're experiencing that isn't pleasurable in in this connection that you that you're in towards a lot of what you're experiencing is not pleasurable or it comes with every every peak has a valley like when when it's good it's great when it's bad it's fucking awful yeah so what you have 
for all intents and purposes, seems to be a toxic soulmate connection, if again, you want to use that label or any other. I personally, I'm not here to tell you what you have. I, you know, this is a collective reading. If this was a personal, it might be different. But this, you and this person, how intertwined you are is not enough to supersede or overpower someone's drive to be independent someone's drive to do things their own way strength energy plus the page of swords in some of your cases you have a connection with someone who is not even your true like your your current partner ah that's interesting okay so and, and this is also a caveat i used to give when when i talked more about soulmates and i, and I will talk about them when they present but i don't want it to be the focus uh, of your reading because i don't think th in this particular case it's not just romantic soulmates i'm talking about so you might have a romantic partner, but your soulmate could be a friend. Your soulmate could be your brother, your sister, your cousin, whomever, right? Your soulmate could be an ex, sure. And this person is an interfering energy, an interloping energy. They have a watchful eye on you, strength, energy, page of swords. They might be very close to the situation. So a roommate, you know, if you're a younger person or in some cases, somebody who's in your 30s and you still live with roommates or whatever, you have a partner that you love very much, but you don't live with them. And the person that you do live with is your roommate, your soulmate, right? Something like that. And there could be jealousy and or if not jealousy, envy, right? Cousins to each other, jealousy and envy. Yes. So it feels like Taurus, you could be any of the people involved, right? One of the two primary partners, maybe an outside observational person or, or a person who's, you know, keenly watching the situation with jealousy or envy within their heart, whatever. I don't necessarily like this, but I, th <laughs> and I think again, me picking up the deck earlier was also indicative of your energy or whoever's resonating with this. Like, just wanting to acknowledge it and then move on from it. Okay, yeah, this was a soulmate, but it was boo-boo, so let's move on to the next part. Or let's move on to something else. Because overall, this feels dissatisfactory. And again, it could be, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to interject my personal beliefs too much here. But it could be because, again, we're shifting the paradigm. We're shifting from from one age to another. And the previous age had a lot of romanticized ideals of what a soulmate was. And maybe that was the function of them, to be romanticized, to be seen as the ultimate, the, the, the ideal way of connecting with another human being, right? Now, in this new paradigm, it's significant, but it's not going to be, in many cases, a soul connection is not going to be you know, kittens and rainbows and sunshine, you know, out of a unicorn's ass. It's just not going to be that. It's going to be really real. It's going to be really gut-wrenching. It's going to be really challenging, if not gut-wrenching, just challenging. And that is the new utility. That is the new purpose of soulmates, to be challenging. Maybe they've always been that way. Maybe we're now open to this new perspective of not overly romanticizing it. But again, I don't want to project anything here. It's just a possibility that some of you are coming to or, or this, this way of viewing this particular connection. Like maybe they're not meant to be my ootsy cutesy mm -hmm type of person. Maybe they're meant to be the vexing person in my life. The catalyst that changes me or changes them. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of knowing a person is significant, but then kind of begrudgingly accepting that. It's like to know it and accept it is almost two different things, okay? Um, let's get some more information on this for you, Taurus. What else is going on here for Taurus? Please show me in this situation. Give me more information here. Because I think you know who everybody is. I don't think you need to be clarified on who your soulmate is or who your twin flame is or whatever. I don't think you need clarification on who's spying. I think you know. Um, the strength energy... For some, because for me, this card, when I see it, I often see a reflection. Like there were, the brown-haired woman is looking at herself in the mirror and that's why we have that one hand kind of up, up against the mirror. So maybe for some of you, you need to do some self-reflection in the situation, understand your faults uh, wherever they may lie, and, and take accountability, maybe. 
but that's just you know quickly before we move on to the next part okay so what else is going on here for Taurus show me and no bottom of the deck overall this month we're going to do oracle cards instead so you got that to look forward to what else is happening for Taurus in this situation give me more information was that a turn nope Oh, I didn't mention it because <laughs> I was like so concentrated on on getting this reading started as soon as possible. I apologize for the lateness of this video, guys. Uh, I got sick for like five and a half days, so I'm behind schedule. So that's why your August video is coming very close <laughs> to the middle of the month. So please forgive me for the lateness. There you go. Knight of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Hangman, Pisces. Could be dealing, don't have to be. That's a lot, but we're going to take a look at that. That's justice, Libra energy. So for some of you, this was about a marriage or is about a current marriage, is about some commitment that you have right now. <sighs> but I'm not going to take that. That came in like a stack of like four other cards, and I'm not going to read that. Simply not going to do it. All right, and then the king of wands, fire sign energy again. Don't have to be dealing with any sign that I mentioned. But if it resonates, take it to the bank. Okay, so for some, this was or is about a marriage um, that may be on the outs. It might still be ongoing, but I do get the sense of like, yeah, some cheating scenario here, some outside influence, which was already mentioned with the Page of Swords in terms of someone spying, in terms of, of people interfering where, where they shouldn't or, you know, <laughs> you know, putting their two cents out there when maybe they should just shut up. Um, but I get with this King of Wands and this Knight of Wands, there's sort of like this dynamic over who shall reign supreme, who does this potential damsel in the middle, if we do a triangulation here, who does she value more, who does she desire more? So it could be that. Some of you might be in your minds or in your perspective, your perception, be caught between two soulmates, which is a possibility. It's not my road. I, I haven't lived that life, but maybe you're living that life. Um, so for some of you, this is a, th I don't want to say third party, but maybe it is. Um, and things are stuck. Again, more observation, more reflection. There's not a lot of movement here. Because even in the Two of Cups, you just have two people standing and, and, and looking at each other and exchanging something in the moment. But they're not very dynamic. They're not very, uh, they're not showing that they're in motion. And then, of course, even more stuck energy with the hangman here. So you're looking at these connections or this one connection and... I don't want to say evaluating because I don't think it is. I think the truth is known. It's just not expressed or what needs to be said is not said. What needs to be done is not being done. And the fire or the, 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 the push for things to get going could be coming from the people that are being chosen between or the, or the two relationships that are being observed, something like that. So let's say it this way. Let's say you do have a connection with a person. They're your soulmate, twin flame, whatever. Whatever you believe in. Yes? You might be, you might have the friend, the concerned mother, the concerned neighbor or whoever over here basically saying, well, who do you feel your true blue connected person is? I'm your mother. I will always love you. That person over there, him or her, they don't love you, not the way I do. So why would you choose them? It's like this, it's like an outside person, outside of the, 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 the two of cups energy. The outside person is the indignant one. The person on the outskirts is the one who has a problem, who is impatient, who feels things need to be, uh, that you need to decide or, 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 or see them as the person, you know? And again, like for some of you, it could be actually in your story, a choice between two people of soul significance to you. It's very possible and not in a romantic way. Like I just illustrated, it doesn't have to be 
you're between two dudes or between two women who want to, you know, bed you, marry you, you know, set up shop with you. No, it could be, again, a romantic partner here, but the third party or the other soulmate connection is a sister or a brother. And you've been lifelong friends and you've known each other, obviously, your entire lives. So they're jealous or they're scared or they're offended or something like that about this new person taking their place. So something there is happening. Uh... King of Wands. This person is very significant. It feels they're very powerful or significant in the situation. Um, you might, in some of your cases, there you go. You, some of you might find yourselves. Like, I feel like this King of Wands is like the leader of something, of a company, of a group of a of a of an organization of a family this person male or female fire sign or not they just have a lot of impacts a lot of oomph they show up with gravitas yes they are very hard to ignore they're very hard to be away from or it's hard to distract yourself or or not think of them something like that they're very magnetizing there you go that's the word they're very magnetic um the Knight of Wands may wish to be like that, but is easier to deflect, easier to put to the side. So maybe if it was that, if this was, again, a choice between two lovers, in some of your cases, that's it. Or again, even still, just two soulmates. You have one that is much more magnetic, much more interesting. And you've got one who's interesting, but doesn't have the clout, doesn't have the pull, doesn't have the attraction that you wish that they had. So it could be, again, two friends, but like a best friend versus a not so best friend, which is maybe seems kind of juvenile, kind of elementary to say it these ways or, 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 or immature, but like that's kind of what it is. So it's like, and either one of those people is jealous of the other, you know, or, 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 or has, if not jealousy, has a disdain that the other person exists in your life, Taurus, or vice versa, wherever you are in the story. You could be either of these, you could be either the Knight of Wands or the King of Wands. You know, you don't have to be the person <laughs> hung up in the middle who who has, you know, withered away to, to bones. And this is, to me, this, this is the most significant card here because this is a point of stagnancy. And I told you, there's not a lot of movement here. Like, there's fire and there's passion and there's you know, maybe words of, of, of intention and, you know, intense conversations, but conversations do not always lead to action, yes? So there's not a lot of action here. And I think that's because you and or other people, Taurus, I gotta say, you're kind of like dying for something to just give way. Or you're dying waiting for another person to make their own decision or make a different decision oh that would be a thing you know Taurus you're much a, you're very much in in some cases not always uh you can be lover not a fighter and if someone tells you Taurus I don't like this you need to make a decision some of you will go well if I just stay where I am they'll make the decision for me because sometimes those types of decisions is it me or is it them do you want me or do you want him or her do you want to be friends with me or do you want to be friends with him or her, right? Uh, Taurus, often without, especially without being crossed, you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So you could very well say, well, I'm not going to make any decision. I'm not going to make any move. And these two people can fight amongst themselves or, or figure it out. So it's almost like you want to make, you want to give over your agency, give over your ability to make a decision. Or, or come to a different perspective. Because, you know, it's not necessarily decision-making with the hangman. It's often the way that you see things. And for some, okay, maybe that's also it. Maybe some of you, or, or whoever's, you know, in the middle here, maybe they want the best of both worlds. Like, you know, the Knight of Wands isn't terrible. There are things about the Knight of Wands that are that are more attractive than the, than, than the King of Wands. Um, so it could be that. It could be, I want both. I want to have both. I don't want to choose. Hmm. All right, let's get an oracle card and then we're going to wrap this up. 
Oracle card for Taurus in August 2021. Oracle card for Taurus in August 2021. So if you were looking for a, defin a, a definitive decision that you <laughs> should make, or you're waiting on someone to make a, def a definitive decision because you're on either side of that person. I don't see them doing it. I see them being very either dismayed or confused about what to do. Either way, it means they're not going to they're not going to do anything. Not anytime soon, at least. OK. All right. So give me an Oracle card for Taurus and then we're going to wrap up. it like that okay dear you there is always more than one side to an argument two sides if not more to every story and hundreds of ways to be right to every story and hundreds of ways to be right be different be at odds and so on today we suggest that instead of looking for differences you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate plan might be laid Stay out of judgment too. Observe, hmm, hangman. Observe, hmm, page of source. Discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to, other, to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold that up. If you want to read it yourself, take it in, take notes, do what you want. But yeah, I think that applies. So maybe it's not about making a decision. Maybe it literally is about finding that common ground, understanding each person's perspective, where they're coming from, what they feel, what they think, etc., etc. Okay? Taurus, that's your reading for August. If you like this reading, hit the like button, leave comments, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff. And if you want to find me for a personal reading, look in the description box below. Okay? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.